on the enemy team, we got the Rock, Sandworm. He ugly. Taraxis looks like something that would be in Power Ranger. He looks like a Power Ranger villain. And then we got those uh, little golems from Elsa. So let's body him. Hello everyone, welcome to Gems of War. I am Dre Santana and today we'll be playing something new. I've been playing this game for a long time. I took a break off of it for a while. But just to give a quick rundown of a game, of how this game works. I think this game is like a mixture of Yu-Gi-Oh and Bejeweled. <laughs> it's literally matching pieces and you get your cards to attack with your attack and all the other stuff. So. Alright, so for the team I'm going to use today, I'm going to use a special squad just for, just for today. It's going to be an all elf team. So for the squad I'm taking with me, it will be Spider Queen, which I was surprised to be an elf because she doesn't look like it at all. This chick, I just brought her because she looks like Widowmaker to me. She's got that vibe. Enchantress. I mean, I think y'all can, uh, I'm pretty sure y'all can figure out why I added. And then, I don't know, she, she's got like a avatar state going on. So she's got some, uh, she's got potential, it looks like it. So as far as how good they are competitively, I have no idea, like I just picked up this team and threw them together. All right, so we're gonna go test them out. See if they any good. All right, so start off, we got on the enemy team, we got a freaking goblin on a rocket. He's very ugly. Um, we got a goat with a dynamite in his mouth. He's, how? <laughs> I'm not gonna question it. Um, this even hideous looking New York bodega rat on this team, Master Splinter would like be terrified of this thing. And then lastly, we got the shaman goblin thing over here. And that's gonna be the team we go against. All right, so let's pop off and see which Mana surge. who gets the ultimate first. Mana surge. All right, apparently the rat. Mana surge. Okay, so he just got his ultimate right back. Well, guess what? I'm about to. Oh, that's not. I can't match it up. Uh, just hit back. Yeah. Okay, so got him down. Trying to charge up my ultimate over here. Okay, I was going to say if this rat bites me one more time, we we're having issues. Mana surge. All right, so now we got an ultimate. Enchantress got hers, and I think she might can wipe out the whole team if everybody's below nine. And one thing about Enchantress, whenever she attacks, she makes like this strange moaning noise. Whenever she does it, it's odd, but. <laughs> Okay, we almost wiped that whole spot. And for this game, if you do match more than three, you do get an extra turn to keep going. And there is a good bit of strategy in this game when things get hard, but right now they're simple. Because right now I'm just doing easy stuff. Because I don't actually know how good this team is. They might be trash. I could have killed them. I missed that. See, that's the one thing about AI. So AI can usually, you know, spot stuff that humans don't catch. Okay. So, my two characters got the ultimate. We finna toss out this little ring blade and kill this thing. Alright, body. Let's go on a two. Let's <laughs> see what goes on with this one. Alright, so now we got an enemy team. We got a Mario. We got the Goblin's cousins over here. These little kids, these look like these cousins that come to your house just get a plate and then they leave that's what these guys look like and then this one he been at home too long this man just like stayed on the crack for a good portion of his life going through a midlife crisis and all and then lastly we got this uh dr eggman robotnik whatever this goblin thing is this man is choking out a toad bro look at that it's crazy okay moving on Okay, so we popped off, we already got an ultimate ready. But the main thing that's good about her ultimate is, you know, she can stop others from using theirs, which I'm about to do. Yeah, go. 
All right, so right now I think my team should have an up. There should be no issue that my squad gets beat by this. This little family over here. Bodied, okay, one down. Easy work, okay. Uh, and kill, kill them free. They out. And another fun thing is about it, I played this and Brawlhalla around the same time, but Brawlhalla just was not getting it for me anymore. Back in college, like we overplayed it, and then like I s started losing interest, it just wasn't hitting the same. Number. Let me go ahead and wrap this up. This man's poison. We just gotta literally get one attack off and we're done. Okay, so one more attack, wipe it out. Okay, so easy. All right, so level two is finished. Let's hit number. Let's hit level three. She is. My God, we got a. What's the woman's name from Norbit? Where's she at? I, this is her. Oh, this is just like Fiona out there putting on some pounds. Like, <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, uh, who else we got? We got a rock turtle thing. Put a cannon on the back. Rasputia, that's a name. Yeah, so that Rasputia fused with Fiona right here. <laughs> that's what we got on that one. Uh, okay, we got there. We got Junkrat's goat, and this man look like he uh, he stay asking for money. This man probably play his guitar over here with a hat on the floor, talking about can you spare some change and stuff. And okay, so that's the team we finna go against. This is level three too, so this should be the hardest out of it. Uh, let me go ahead and just wipe this wipe this team out. You know, I wanted to give it a little bit of spice, so you know, I made this a uh, all a one type kind of thing. Her name is Boos McGee. What's up, Senpai? It's been a good little minute since I've seen you. And I wouldn't say she gets to Boos McGee because she is actually rather flat chested uh, compared to some of the others I've seen, and I will show you them later. But she is probably the best looking elf out of the group. I'll give them that. Cause probably she's the most human looking. Cause you know, uh, the other ones, you can clearly tell, you know, they got something else going on. It's all about the push up, but it's, it's, she doesn't have one on. I mean, if she does, like, it's like extremely. Nah, there's no way. There's no way she just got a bra on. <laughs> no way. Ah, uh, okay. Let me see if we can go ahead and waste this team. So we're gonna try to finish off. Uh, Fiona Rasputia fusion real quick. If uh, Avatar down there get her ultimate, it should be easy work, and we just finish her off. Yeah, cause we got our ultimate. Kill him. He done. All right, so for this next round, we finna face a new group of people. Got have my little elf squad take this one. All right, so we got uh, Mercy. I think we can see where that came from. We got the prophet over here. This man brought the big Bible. He got it encrusted in gold. We got patience. Something we all lack in our life. So she is, she is not present. This one right here is not present in 20, 2020 because we there's no patience. And then we got the vampire queen. She look good. All right, but I'm still gonna have to kill her. These guys should not be difficult to beat. They look like just they're just a team of healers. That's all it is. They're just a bunch of supports. Mana surge. There's no offensive threat here. Okay, body. Marcy gone. Ring blade, uh, let me see. Kill patience. Oh, you drew any Yasha. Hold up, chat, take a look. Hold up, let me let me show y'all. Senpai been getting to work. Check it. Uh, hold on, hey. Get that focus and check it. Simpop been working, she got any Asha up here. Okay, give him a round of applause. Oh, you love this game? Well, legit. I mean, I'm, I like it too. I just didn't really know if it was like stream worthy. So, you know, I'm giving it a shot. Cause it's worth a try, right? You know, it might do something good. It might make it, might do something good for me. So I, I support, support your decision. Okay, so right now I'm about to cancel out her ultimate. 
because you can't slot his ultimate because the priest ain't about to do his thing over here. No, no, sir. Uh oh. Oh, why did I do that? He's buried. That was, that was a bad shot of him. That's fine. Mana surge. All right, Enchantress need to get her ultimate so we can go ahead and wipe this team out. This has gone on longer than it needs to. Mana surge. All right, wipe him out. He did. He did. All right, so they done. Block. Look at all these different choices. You know, we got the boss, the beast, because all these different races I can use. But I'm gonna use the elf for this one. All right, apply the filter. We're gonna swap the team out. You know, just uh, try something. Try something. New. All right, so we're gonna bring the widow queen. Oh, look, we got a level 1,000 in here. Okay, so tell me, how do y'all get? to a level 1000 like is there a fast way that y'all are doing it or you've just been playing the game for that long because there might be some hacks i don't know about in this game still so. uh we got a shorty on a horse here okay i'm gonna head to the team so we got grass we got water we need us a light type holy type i play a lot okay understandable this isn't this is an addicting game i can see it we need a light type that's offensive. We'll just pick her up. And we need a fire type. Uh, let's see. We'll pick up him. Okay, let, let me do a quick little overview of who I got. All right, so for my first teammate, we got the Silver Maiden, who honestly looks like someone who was in the uh, Crusades, you know, back in the day. You know, she got her, she got her flag. And that horse looked like he just fed up with it. He looked like he don't even want to be here. Uh, we got Prince Ethros. Ethros, I'm probably saying that wrong. This dude got a bird on his shoulder, but he's very, very oddly shaped. <laughs> That's a very oddly shaped chicken. And uh, he probably need to pull that choker now, bro. He probably can't even breathe. Boy's stressing at this moment. We got Spellblade, who looks like probably like the average, you know. We'll like the average warrior. And we got the Widow Queen. Who is another purple chick. Alright, so Widowmaker got, got cousins out here. I like the artwork in this game. Me too. Um, they did very good when they detailed this. And then they have a lot too. There's so many characters I don't even have unlocked. But that makes the game fun. You know, it lets me know I still got stuff to go to. Alright, so that's gonna be the squad we're gonna roll with for the uh, next game. All right, so on the enemy team, we got an arch on, how do I say that? Arch on statue. We got the High Pedallion, who was probably some character drawn in, what's that game called? Uh, the one Nintendo made. Uh, we got this fish looking dragon character, who apparently is holy and divine. This is nothing I want coming to my rescue looking like that. And we got, we got the Pope again, <laughs> the Bishop. I don't know if I trust this man. He just doesn't have a face that looks trustworthy. All right, let's run his battle down. Let's do it. Oh, no, not yet. Don't rush it. We don't want to go there. It's a bad place. Rush knock is a terrible place to be. Uh, okay. She ain't gonna kill nothing, but you know, she can cut him. Cause I think I still have her as like level one. I didn't give her. She's level five. Yeah, she's a baby. I miss doing quests. Oh, what? You don't finish all of them? I'm pretty sure you have. If you're level 1,000 something. You finish all of them. I don't even know what I'm doing. I didn't read. What did she do? She destroyed a row and did what? Okay, send your little bird, chicken, mushu character. Kill him. Okay, you're not strong enough to kill him. I missed a whole 15. You still ain't killing nothing with this little bird you throwing. That was not a good choice of animal. Could have got like a, I don't know, like a kimono dragon or something. You know, put him on your shoulder. At least he can breathe some fire. All right, so clean and barriers myself. Gains three armor and life, boosted by yellow gems destroyed. Okay, so I need to. Okay, so she's a healer, but she still needs to be on the front line, which is what I assume a random. Okay, I assume so. 
All right, kill that thing now. And the bishop is just down here collecting health. This man's in 40 range. This is gonna take forever. I see what I'm screwing up, cause I need her at the bottom. I need her to come and wipe them out. I have her in the wrong place. And she can't get her ultimate due to uh, the other two taking her mana. Those controls are gonna be stress. All right, he almost down. All I gotta do is match like one more pair of skulls and I can wipe this guy. Okay. Cool. But if y'all consider getting it, I might uh, I might get it on my phone or put it on my old phone. And let me open some of these chests. Like y'all probably here looking at like this man got chests for days. Like open them. All right, let me pop some of these open. And a grand reveal, we get absolute crap. How did we get three of these? I don't want him. Okay, moving on. This should give something good. Out of nine, something good. Okay, so we got something good. We got female Satan over here. Lucifria, uh, Lucifria. Huh. Who knew, who knew, who knew Satan had a girlfriend? All right, okay, that, that could be his sister, I don't know. That'd be weird. Um, we got the egg thief. And then, I remember this guy. I used to use him when I was playing early game. He was He's a really good defensive player. And then everything else is just like, simple. Some scrubs. Losing free is newish to the game. Okay, I'll, I'll have to give her a check out. Check her out then. Look at this unicorn, y'all. This man got blood upon his uh thing. He said everything ain't sweet over here. He said stuff ain't sweet. New troop came out today. You want an engineer? Engineers are good early game because he stacks on armor. Uh, do I still have my first team? I don't think I have. I think I replaced them. No, okay. So this was my first. No, it's not. That's not them. I call them, what do I call them? I think I call them Stall. Here we go. So this was my first team. When I first started playing the game, this is the lineup I had. I had the average fodder goblin, which wasn't bad because I did like his extra turn ability. I had this chick, which was so either or, because she used to either help you or help the enemy. And that was not, it wasn't cutting it sometimes. And Fletch Golem, this was like the OG team. He used to always line up and knock out the skulls. And then I had him. That was my lineup back then. Apply that. Okay, so overall, what I've learned from these Elva battles, I did not use all of them, but I did use a good majority. Use that one. Use that one. That one. I did not. I forgot to use this guy. I'm only level 1,000. Well, look, what is up with y'all in only? Like, that's crazy high. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me go on. The, let me show y'all. Let me give you an example of the craziness when it comes to levels. All right, so let's look at these guys in the chat here. So let me and this guy right here, like level, level 130 are probably in the same boat here, but they might be stronger than I am. Let me see, what do they have? Baby dragon's their favorite troop? What the crap, why? Why is that your favorite troop? Okay, um, anyway, so look at this. Take a look at this guy, level 1,400. That card looks amazing. This man's blue eyes is probably out here just wrecking PvP. Um, okay, let's go back to what I was saying before about the elves. So my overall opinion about the elves, it seems like they're very passive. A lot of them have webbing abilities, which is good for draining mana from characters who are about to use the ultimate on you, which is cool, but I'd rather just kill, kill and keep going, because <laughs> we don't have patience. Um, I think like the MVP out of the group of elves that I was playing with, she's good, but I don't like that she has to kill one of her allies to, you know, attack, I like, guess, insane, like she has to kill one of her allies just so she can attack somebody. But she does replace it, but you know, he's still killing an ally. Um, she she was decent. She had a little ring blade. 
And she doubles if webbed, so she can be tag team with one of those web characters. And Spider Queen's pretty decent on the front line. But yeah, I think they're really passive though. And just mana drain. They're a stall team. So that was Gems of War. And we're gonna end it off right Wow, Tentacle Party. Great way to end this off, right? Alright, thank y'all for coming. This has been Dre Santana. You can find me on YouTube at the same name. And also find me. Don't self-promote on my stuff. This is the George Man Engine Show. No. So also if you do, like comment like what race I should do next. I might just do it randomly. But I'll thank all y'all for coming. I will see y'all next time. Later. I should be like you, Mel.